this time scratching a neck. This looks like, I mean, there are lots of stumps here, but this one looks like it's just being used again and again. You can see that patina that it has. And these hard to reach places. No, that's not going to work. Scratching his leg. Yeah, armpit. <laughs> now the, the belly rub. Oh, there we go. Scratching the armpit. Almost looks like it's having fun, eh? Ears back in pleasure. There we go. Belly now. <laughs> and the zebra in the distance, it's using the hook to scratch on its head. <laughs> uh, there we go. And on the bum. <laughs> Doesn't look like they get much right, do they? I don't know if you were a zebra, I'd probably straddle the uh, the stump and use it that way there we go Although that seems to be working very well that's that's a proper scratch <laughs> very awesome now this one scratching its belly that's at the right height for a belly rub I don't think it does much else getting under the tail Here's a youngster also practicing on another portion of the stump. Also been rubbed smooth over the ages. Looks like they start on the head and then they move down the body, ending on the bum. There we go. That's a good scratch. Got that whole branch moving it. Kirsty, could you please repeat the name? Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Oh, excuse me, R. Lara Moore, you said these zebra are so clever utilizing these uh, these stumps. They absolutely are. I, mean, I'm, I must be honest, when you've got a single hoof and no toe and a fat belly, which your your very stubby neck can't get around, I think the 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 use of a branch is very clever so i agree with you 100 percent. i think they are very clever utilizing this branch probably find it's exactly why they come out to this field is that there is such a variety of rubbing posts around look at this little one ah tristan seems to have found tambay again so off you go enjoy <laughs> 